And now a major reversal from the World Health Organization. The head of the team investigating the origins of COVID-19 now says the Wuhan lab deserves a closer look. The organization saying, quote, who is committed to following the science? And we call on all governments to put differences aside and work together to provide all data and access required so that the next series of studies can be commenced as soon as possible. Joining us now is Jamie Metzl, one of the members of the WHO's advisory committee. Uh, Jamie, thanks for being here. So, I mean, for months now, you've had the World Health Organization downplaying this lab leak theory. So now why the reversal and the need for more information before you can reach a conclusion? Just to be clear, the World Health Organization itself hasn't been downplaying the, the likelihood of a lab, uh, lab incident origin. It was an international expert committee that was doing so. And actually, Dr. Tedros, the director general of the WHO, has been pretty strong saying we have to examine all hypotheses. But this international committee, which in my view very shamefully announced in February of this year in a joint press event in China alongside their Chinese government counterparts that a lab incident origin was extremely unlikely, and those are their words, it now turns out they were essentially lying that the leaders of this international committee actually believed a lab incident origin ranged from unlikely to likely, but that they did a deal um, with their Chinese government counterparts who didn't want to mention a lab incident origin at all. And so the deal was, well, we'll mention this possibility and then we'll say it's, it's extremely unlikely and not call for a further investigation. And so the leader of that independent expert committee has now essentially come clean. And it's just outrageous that this happened. And that's why the entire world must come together in demanding a full investigation into the origins of the pandemic in China with full access to all relevant record samples and personnel. Well, we know that Wuhan. China is unlikely to cooperate in that. David Asher, former State Department investigator, as we have been speaking with him throughout, the Chinese cesspool of lies, he says, they've been propagating from day one on this thing when you know rather than looking for a virus and its origins, they seem to know where it came from from day one, and they started propagating a cover story. So when I hear you talking now about a full investigation, why was anything ruled out so early on when we didn't have all the details and certainly didn't have all the evidence that is out there? I totally agree with David and with the premise of the question. Uh, as you know, I was one of the earliest people early last year raising the possibility of a lab incident origin and calling for a full investigation. It's outrageous that we don't have it. And in some, the reason that we don't is exactly as David says, China began its cover up immediately, started destroying samples, hiding records, uh, silencing Chinese experts. Uh, then uh, there was, uh, because of that, uh, lots of international experts didn't have the data that they need, needed. Uh, President Trump, who, and I'm a, a progressive Democrat, and I disagreed with a lot of what President Trump said, but he happened to possibly be right in the allegations he was making about uh, the origins of the pandemic. Uh, and then the mainstream media and scientific journals, and again, I say this as a, as a progressive, didn't tell the story that needed to be told. And so now we need to get to the bottom of this. Our safety and the safety of our children and grandchildren depend on understanding what went wrong and fixing our, our right. problems. Real, real quick, uh, though, China, no, as we are running yeah. out of time, so is the World Health Organization, and are you, Jamie, operating then under the assumption that uh, on the on the lab leak theory. Is that the probable theory? So we, the answer is we don't know for sure. I personally think it's the most likely origin, but that's exactly why mm -hmm. we need a full investigation. The Biden 90 day review is a start, yep. but we need much more on the national and the international levels. All right, and they are looking at that. All the available evidence will, it's supposed to wrap up end of this month. We'll see if it reveals anything at all. Appreciate it, Jamie. Thank you.